The Leesburg, Virginia Executive Airport is in the middle of a three-month testing period for a new remote air traffic control system. The designer, Saab's Census Corporation, says ultimately it could be deployed at airports across the country. Diane Cho has more. Setting up inside a conference room at Leesburg Executive Airport. What's depicted here is the 360-degree view you would see out of brick-and-mortar air traffic control tower where you'd be looking out windows if you were a controller. Saab Census Corporation is testing its remote control tower technology in a partnership with the Virginia Sats Lab. Yes, sir. Number two, go zero. Release for departure. The airport currently does not have an air traffic control tower. It's uh, left to the flying community to to uh, communicate with one another to provide common situational awareness. So he's been given an instrument clearance to depart. So that's a good example of an uncontrolled airport where you request an instrument release from Potomac Tracon, which controls the airspace. Uh, is given a window of time during which he needs to depart the airfield. With 14 cameras and microphones placed in what they call the crow's nest on top of the building. The goal? To eliminate the cost of building a 70-foot tower. According to Saab Census Corporation, they run between 3 to $10 million for a small airport and upwards of $70 million for a new tower at a larger airport. What it will enable, we hope, is for smaller communities or communities that some cases have inherited a 50-year-old military air traffic control tower that they can no longer safely maintain because it has asbestos and it's too expensive to maintain the elevators and everything else. So the idea is that they could, in theory, replace that, um, that old aging tower with a new structure and potentially consolidate. Today, he says the system is only being used in Sweden, where remote controllers are providing air traffic services to an airport 90 miles away. There's no technical, physical limitations. We did testing in Australia. We, we ran the video 900 miles from a very remote uh, airfield in the desert climates, I'm told. Uh, it was at an oil field, I believe. So the, the, there are no real limitations, um, as long as you have some kind of land, land lines to get the video from A to B. And communication services. The system has a pan tilt zoom camera which allows a controller to look at other parts of the taxiway or runway and zoom in like an eagle far beyond what regular binoculars can show you. The system can also track a plane as it taxis. In front of the uh, window for each of the 14 cameras there's an air blade system that basically creates a sweeping effect across the glass. So anytime the, there, there's a dust or rain or snow has less chance of adhering to the glass because of that, that uh, pressure system. As for what's next, he says the company is hoping to get into the next round of testing by summer or fall. We would enter a phase of active testing where controllers here with a, another remote mobile tower, I should say not a remote, but a mobile tower in the airfield, as a safety net, we would provide services to the flying public here uh, and treat this as a controlled airport for a period of three months. So we're building up the safety. For Government Matters, I'm Diane Cho.